preacher say, I'm a Christian because I join church. That's one way. I'm a Christian because I sing in the choir. That's something else. I'm a Christian because I preach the gospel. That doesn't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because I spoke the tongue. That don't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because I danced in the spirit. That don't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because I shouted. That don't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because that I quit smoking, I quit drinking. If you did it within yourself, there's something wrong there. Right. We mustn't do these things. In ourselves, if there's something in us that just simply takes the world out of us, then it begins to bear fruit of itself. And now the fruit of the Spirit is not joining church, the fruit of the Spirit is not smoking cigarettes, the fruit of the, I mean, quit smoking cigarettes, the fruit of the Spirit is not to, to speak with tongues, the fruit of the Spirit is not to pray for the sick and they be healed, the fruit of the Spirit is not to prophesy or preach, but the fruit of the Spirit is found in Galatians 5.22, love, joy, peace, goodness, long-suffering, faith, meekness, gentleness, that's the fruit of the Spirit. Now, no matter how much you preach, you got a real ill temper, don't do much good to preach, see? No matter how much you join church and try to impersonate, if you're crabbing and nasty with your neighbor, you'll never win into crime, see? It's the fruit of the Spirit. As my wife used to tell me, actions speak louder than words. That's right. Live me a sermon instead of preaching me one. That's the good thing. Live me a sermon. 